In today's video, I will be locking myself in a room for 24 hours to complete the backgrounds in my game. Stick around to the end to see just how much I got done on the backgrounds, and I hope you enjoy the video. So yeah, I've been struggling to put any sort of uh, work into the game or making these videos. Basically, a bunch of life stuff popped up, and sometimes when that happens, you know, you have to focus on them. Recently, I just moved house. Um, that was a big project in itself. It was also summer here in New Zealand, and I decided to put uh, the videos on pause and the game on pause just so I could uh, enjoy the summer and, and do some wakeboarding. And then, you know, s some things have been, I've been having some relationship issues and, you know, that stuff um, takes a lot of time too to sort through, but everything's okay now. And I decided to kick off this uh, new moment in my life by coming down to um, my parents' house uh, where I grew up and just locking myself in a room and just grinding this game out for a couple hours. Not a couple hours, 24 hours. I've been really itching to get back to making these videos and and working on the game, so hopefully we can uh, make some progress here. And oh yeah, we're gonna start tomorrow morning. So that's when the uh, 24 hours officially starts. Okay, all right, let's do it. Right, so now I'm all set up. Um, I've got everything where it needs to be. I've got uh, my mouse is just there. I've got my books for drawing. I've got uh, the usual computer stuff and hard drive and things. I've got a microphone for when I record. And I've also got a uh, big ass speaker so I can jam out and annoy the neighbors um, with some music while I work. Um, the only thing now left to do is start tomorrow morning. So I'll catch you bright and early in the morning. So I just woke up. Um, the time is 9 o'clock, and uh, now it's time to get ready for the day ahead. I just remembered that um, I'm gonna do this for 24 hours. I'm probably gonna need some snacks, so I'm gonna go get those now. Got the snacks! So my computer just had a meltdown, so while I wait for it to figure itself out, um, I'm gonna plan my day. So what I got here is my time blocking journal. It's a journal that helps you block out tasks into time chunks so that you can use your time more efficiently. I heard this is how Elon Musk manages his time. So I made my own journal because I didn't see anyone else making them online. Let me know if you guys want to know more about this. I love talking about planning and things that make you more organized. I'm is 11 and uh, it's time to officially start. I think I made a decision on the first place I'm going to draw. I think I'm going to draw here. Um, this is where I grew up and it's a pretty amazing place to grow up and come back to. So I think what better starting point in my game than the place I grew up. I've never done any pixel art from real life before. So this is a bit of a new experience for me. I started out by just trying to rough out the shapes of the mountains and get my proportions all correct. It was at this point that I was starting to realize just how hard this was gonna to be to do. Since it was my first time, I was trying to be easy on myself and just experiment around with grass and trying to make it look as good as I could. I ended up looking at a tutorial on how to make good looking grass in pixel art. I was trying originally to match it to the original image, but it just wasn't looking good. I mean, you can see here, I was trying to blend it all in and it just didn't look that great. I'm officially an hour in, I'm just gonna keep going. Here I was working on what I thought my new grass could look like. From the tutorial I looked up online, it was kind of like a Pokemon style grass. I don't think it looked too bad, I, I quite enjoyed doing it as well. It was uh, it's pretty fun to, to learn this new skill, especially since I've been doing a lot of pixel art lately.
So at this point, I realized something. This grass wasn't really working, and I had two options in front of me. I could keep going and try and make this grass work, or I could delete everything and start again. Well, that's what three hours of work looks like. Down the toilet. Obviously I started again. Now at least I know what I don't want. So I guess that's a positive. I thought my first grass was a bit too simple. So I went to the exact opposite end and made it way too complicated. Now I've got a happy medium where I think it's just enough detail. I wish it didn't take me two attempts to figure that out, but hey, you live and you learn. And this was my life for the next two hours, basically drawing little bits of grass. Again. How fun. Right, so we're at the five hour mark. Um, I think I'm gonna move on to something else. Uh, change it up a bit and see if I can make some assets for the actual game while it's running. Yeah, who thought I would have gotten bored of drawing grass all day? First thing I did was lock out all the different layers I wanted. You can see them here in the pink, blue and the yellow. If you watched my original video, you'll know that with this game I'm trying to make the world get crazier and crazier as you run along, so I thought a nice place to start was the hills. One of my favourite places in New Zealand has that same sort of landscape. Once I finished the hills, it was time to move on to the roads. Now when you make backgrounds for games like this, what you can do is make a couple different options for the roads, and then what you can do is a thing called tiling. It's pretty cool, you don't actually have to draw the entire landscape full of the roads. You can just have this one tile and it will repeat itself endlessly. Or as long as you want it to. Kind of like tiles. And it doesn't just apply to roads. Basically every one of these assets will be a tile, including the mountains in the background. You just have to make sure they line up. If anyone wants me to explain that more, just let me know, I'll make a whole video about it. Look at this, I'm moving on to some bushes. First grass, now bushes. I know how to make an entertaining video. But while we're here, I'll try and explain what I was thinking when making these bushes. This is another thing that I looked up a tutorial for, actually. I tried to make these multi-highlighted bushes, but I didn't think they were working really well, so I decided just to go for one-dimensional bushes. I thought maybe I could stack them, and this would give like a cool effect of having multiple layers of bushes. But I picked up a pretty cool way to make bushes from the video I watched. You start off by just making blobs, and then you can make almost like a paintbrush, and then you can just paint the leaves onto the outsides of your little blobs. After I figured that out, I got pretty carried away as you can see. I made three layers of bushes. That's far too many bushes. So I just had some dinner, um, we're about eight hours in, and yeah, time to get back to it. Now, I have a confession to make. I already made a space background for another game I was working on a long time ago, and I thought, why should I remake it? I already have it, so I should just use it. Don't hate me too much, I'm pretty lazy. 
As you can see, it's starting to come together. I added the cans down the bottom. These are the little power-ups people can pick for themselves. I thought they looked like they were just floating in space there, and I didn't really like the way that looked. So I decided to add a little bit of detailing to separate where the playable game is and the clickable spaces. I think it worked pretty well. I'm a very visual person, so if I have an idea, I typically have to see it to know if it'll work or not. I tried to make these hills pink, but I didn't have a reason for doing it. I just liked the way it looked. And that's something I try to do with all my work is justify why I'm making a decision. It has to make sense with the rest of the game. It can't just look fancy. So I decided to go back to the green hills. So by this point, I was about ready to call it quits, but I had to do one more thing just before I went to bed. Now this marks a huge milestone in our journey so far. What you're about to see is the first running version of my game. I hope you like it. It's kind of amazing to see my work come together like this. But for now, it's time to go to bed. After I passed out, I woke up feeling not that refreshed. But I knew that I had to get this challenge done. Um, I was getting a bit bored of what I was doing yesterday, so I'm going to try something new, do something new in the pixel art. So, Just for everyone's reference, the items I had in the hat were can dispenser, a comet, people, a demon realm, I thought that would be fun to do, a space realm, and doing mechs. So let's see what I got. So here we are, we're going to choose from, I better not look, uh, something new to do. What did we get? We got can dispenser. So I'm going to work on that now and I'll catch you on the computer. So I had a pretty fun idea for the can dispenser. I thought of potentially doing a regular vending machine on the side of your screen, and every time you picked up the power-ups icon, it would just shoot one to you, but I thought I could be a bit more creative than that. So I wanted to create a person or a mascot that could give you cans. And surprise, surprise, I ended up with a Fijoa. Now, if you don't know what a Fijoa is, I think they're called in the rest of the world a guava pineapple, but in New Zealand we call them Fijoas. I came up with a lot of different options, and I thought maybe the character could have multiple faces or personalities, based on how he's feeling about the game. I changed the colour to blue. I thought he could be more of a digital mascot rather than an actual Fijoa. And going along with that, I decided to give him this kind of pixely holographic look which I think turned out really good and it was pretty fun to animate too. After I made him blue I thought to myself how are you going to know he's a Fijoa and not just a circle? So I turned him back to green, but what I decided to do was take away the outline, and I thought maybe that would make him look more digital. I added the same effect to this character, but now he has a bunch of facial expressions. And here's a final look at what I created. Now, I need to come up with a name for this guy, so maybe you guys can help me. He can't be called Fijoa. That's already my name. If you have any good suggestions, let me know. So now there's only one thing left to do. Incorporate him into the game somehow. If you guys noticed, I used the same sort of texture that I used in my other video. I thought maybe these two things could be linked somehow, but I'm not sure just yet.
and here's a screenshot of the final product. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I think it does the job for now. To be honest, at this point, I was running out of energy, so what do you expect? Bet you thought I forgot about the intro screen. Nope. In the final hours of this challenge, it's the last thing I'm going to finish. But bear with me guys, at this point I'm absolutely shattered and sick of doing pixel art. Now with the last 5 hours of this challenge, it's time to finish it. <sighs> I was dreading this. After one of the most grueling pixel art sessions of my life, it was finally done. Man, that took a lot of work. It took way, way more than I thought it was going to. I think I went over the time, but that's all right. Um, here we are, the final thing, um, and it it doesn't look too doesn't look too bad. I, I'm lying. I, this is absolutely. I don't like it at all. This is absolutely shit. Uh, <laughs> I, I butchered this this background. It's I did not realize how hard it was going to be to do a background from real life. Uh, looks nothing like like the original. Um, but hey, I got to take a fat fat L on this one. Holy. Um, but hey, you know, it happens. Uh, I did learn a bunch about making rocks and stuff from it. So hey, I learned a couple lessons along the way. But yeah, I think it needs a good 10 hours worth of work put into this so maybe after this video I'll I'll revisit this background but that's what I could do in the time limit and it just looks like a bunch at the, at the end there I just was doing a bunch of lines for no reason I mean it doesn't even look good it looks super messy and and I think I was trying to put way too much detail into everything but you know on that bombshell it's time to end the video hope you guys enjoyed see you later